Hi, this is Rich Harrington with Producing Video Podcast, and I'm here with Gary Adcock, who is the chair of the Director of Photography Conference for NAB, as well as just an all-around HD guru. We're here in the AJA booth, and uh, let's talk a little bit about the Aja IO HD. It was announced last year. Where are we at right now? It's shipping, of course. It's, it's totally shipping now. It's amazing for us to, uh, or AJA, to actually deliver a product that does analog content, digital content, A to D conversion, so you can actually bring in HDV content, uh, HD cam content, any of the kind of things that we might use in a modern workflow, plus camera time code. So now we actually have a way to capture camera-based time code into a system and then use that time code to match our camera tapes in Final Cut Pro. It's actually pretty amazing. And what I like about the unit is it actually appears to be designed to take out into the field and use in a field job. It's built very solidly. They, they want people to use it in the field. They want to be able to use it on set too. So they're playing a lot of on-set applications. I actually just designed an on-set capture application for a company in Chicago that uses the IOHD as its interface. And we're really proud about that. Now, right now, is this designed just to work with Final Cut or is it going to tie into some of the other Mac solutions or PC solutions out there? Right now, the IOHD only works with Final Cut Pro and the related apps. You can work with it uh, as long as you have Final Cut Pro on. It is enabled in After Effects, and now with the new release of plugins, we can actually now use Photoshop Preview. So you can actually have Photoshop Preview from within the IOHD from Photoshop. So that's a great plan. Um, the important thing to know about it, though, is, is that right now, this is a Final Cut Pro only device, and you really got to have to understand that. It only captures ProRes HD, and but it will do DV, DV50, and uncompressed standard definition formats. But in high definition, it's really just for uh, Apple's ProRes codec and using that way. Now, if people are doing tapeless acquisition, can this device still be used? Does it, does it add any value? Well, with tapeless acquisition, you run into a little problem. So particularly with Panasonic and XD Cam and some of the formats out there, you need a little bit of processing power to actually convert the file. And what we recommend is if you're going to work with the DVC Pro HD, the P2 workflows, or the XD Cam workflows, that it's better to work on a set-top box rather than a laptop for playback. That's the only big thing to learn. Very, very good. Now, Gary, lots going on with NAB. You've had a great conference here, lots of people coming in. Tell me some of the coolest things you've seen over the last couple days. Well, um, Panasonic released the P2 Vericam and the 2700. Sony's re released the EX3 with interchangeable lenses using the card-based format and a two-third inch sensor. All of the red news. Um, interesting things coming up from a couple of other people. There's some, Infinity is being shown here in, in mass amounts for everything. Canon has a new HDV camera, and there's a lot of other tools. One of the most unique things I've seen lately, though, is actually um, Light Panels has come out with LP Micro Files, where you can actually have an LED light that goes on top of your camera, and it works on four AA batteries. And it gives you an hour and a half of twinkle light in the eyes with full ratio controls, and it's, got, and it's just an amazing little tool, and it's only $349. Okay, I need to go over to that booth and buy some of those, apparently, because that's awesome. So, uh, Gary, a lot going on with NAB. You know, for those who've never been here, why should people make the trek to Vegas? Everyone says, you know, everything's out there. You can see it all on the Internet. Why come here? You know, you can see everything on the Internet, but there's nothing like coming and talking to the people who really understand the tools. It's important for anyone who's doing this to really come in and touch the tools and feel that you know what it's doing. People don't do that enough, and you don't get the touchy-feely on the internet. It's very important for people to come and understand and have the need to actually interact with the people in the environments. And also from the manufacturer's point of view, people want to hear what, what's going on. It may change how they do. We're having meetings with companies, or AJA is having meetings with companies right now, that allow them to do maybe something different in the future with some of the things that are coming down the road. Well, as always, good to see you, Gary. Always good, Rich. Thanks. Take care, my friend. Good. It's Gary Adcock, HD expert. We're here at the AJA booth at NAB 2008.